me pull this in. So it's an eight by 10 canvas. And all you gotta do to be, uh, to have a chance to win is sprinkle. Let me know you sprinkled. And then we will draw a name and see what, see who wins, okay? So I cheated, I went ahead and painted the sides because that sometimes takes an inordinate amount of time. And the first thing I think I'm going to do is um, paint, just paint out everything. Yes, Barbara, I actually did um, a 12 by 24 flag um, and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint out that first color. We're gonna get it dry. I'm gonna do it rather quickly because it's gonna be a messy little process anyway. And then we're gonna come back with our palette knobs and kind of make it very fun and crazy, all right? So let's go ahead and put some blue. I'm gonna use the uh, Prussian blue. We're gonna put that on our canvas. And we're just gonna brush out. I need a bigger brush than what I was using a minute ago. So let me grab something a little bigger. And I'm gonna get the blue on our flat, or on our star area. Now we're gonna be, like I said, we're gonna be using a palette knife. I don't wanna repeat myself 47 times, but sometimes I tend to do that because ADD. Um, so we're gonna use our palette knife, so I'm not gonna try to be perfect, and I'm not gonna worry too much about coverage because our palette knife is going to enable us to put on a fairly heavy coat of paints. And I'm not worried about what it looks like at all at this point. I am gonna turn it this way. I know I turned the camera so you could see it the right way, but just for a second. I'm gonna turn it this way because it's just easier for me to paint. So who out there does that? You just turn your canvas, just turn it around and around and around so you have access to all the parts, right? So there's our flag base. I'm gonna get another brush because that one is messy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my white, put a little coat of paint on our white. And y'all, if you just got here, I cannot see your comments. I apologize. That's a Facebook issue, I, but I cannot see your comments, so I promise I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just gonna keep painting. Well, keep on painting. Okay, so white, I, I, I can tell on the side what they need to be. So this one's white. I'm just gonna get a really quick coat of white on here. Not trying to be perfect at all. Just get it on, just get it on. Yeah, I can't stand not being able to talk to y'all. Makes me crazy. So I'm just gonna paint, I'm gonna paint just like I was here by myself. And sometimes when I'm here by myself, I talk to myself too, y'all. Mostly fuss at myself for stuff like, girl, why did you do that? You knew better. That's the kind of talk I do to myself. You knew you you knew that wasn't gonna work. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's the kind of stuff. Just fuss, fuss, fuss. Fussing at myself. So just real quick, get the color on stripes. And Y'all, Steve made it to, I can't see your comments, so I'm just gonna talk. Steve made it to Damascus, Virginia today. Very exciting, very proud of him. He has been so sick and he just jumped right up when he started feeling better and started walking again. Crazy old man. But he made it to Virginia. So I'm proud of him and I'm ready to go and see him in a couple of weeks, mid-July, after the 4th. I am gonna fly up to wherever he is and see him. Take him a razor. <laughs> Just kidding, y'all. 
All right, let's rinse that and then we'll get some red. <gasps> I broke my paintbrush. Holy moly. And I don't have any idea where it went. It flew halfway across the room. That's all I have left of that paintbrush that I was painting with. I don't have any idea what Herculean strength I uh, conjured up to do that, but it is broken and all the way on the other side of the room. So let's get another paintbrush, how about? And see about these red stripes. I'm gonna get a little bigger one. That was crazy. That thing flew all the way across the room. Broke right off. So let me see if I can see some comments. I have to go out and then come back in. Let's see. Okay, so for the red, I'm using cherry red. It's the perfect USA flag red. So we're using that, and I'm just gonna get that first coat of red on the stripes, and then we're gonna get it dry, and then we're gonna start with our palette knife, and we're gonna just make a messy, I'm gonna put my fingers here just to kind of hold it still. We're gonna kind of make a little bit of a messy palette knife flag. All right. Let me just do this. This will be easier. All right, there's one and two. We'll go like this and get that line. We'll come down here and do the same thing. Get, sneak right up next to that line I had already sketched out for my flag because I just kind of measured like a little over one inch for each stripe and went ahead and measured that out because you know, you, nobody needs to see me measuring, right? Just like an inch, just over an inch. All right, almost there, y'all, and the fun begins. Let's see, boom, and down here, just get it covered. Don't be too terribly worried about perfection. And last but not least, this little bottom one. And almost there. Hold your breath. Almost. 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 Right up on there. Boom. All right. We'll hit those sides just a little. And we're going to hit this with our dryer just for a second. Get it dry. I'm gonna reboot over here and see if I can read anything. No, I didn't throw it across the room. It just broke right off. I don't know what happened. That is cool. Catherine said she's painting a flag on a cigar box. Yes, it's hard to keep lines straight no matter what you're painting on, really. Especially if you're of mature age like some of us. Got a little blob of paint. Let's make sure that's dry. Okay, now we'll let that cool off because it's really hard to paint on a hot canvas. And so here's my, here's my idea. So to do the flag base or the star base stripes, do some gold stars. Maybe uh, we'll use blue glass and um, gold stars. Maybe we'll just do gold stars. We're gonna write in some things 
And so that's the hope. I'm gonna use this palette knife. This is one of my favorites, and I like it because it's not too big. It's small, and it's a little more controllable. But the first thing, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do my stripes or my, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my stripes first. So I'm gonna make sure I have all my colors on my palette. So I do have some, I ain't worried about the blue yet. I have red, I'm gonna add a little bit more red. And I'm gonna add a little bit of black as well. Let's add a little bit of red. I'm gonna scoochie this over, and that way you can kind of see also what's on my plate. Okay, so red, I'm gonna do a little bit of gold. This is blended gold. I'm gonna add some of that right here, I think. Yep. So I have white. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black. Just Anita's black. And I'll put it over here, because it'll be minimal. All right, so we have red, white, and blue, black, and gold for now. All right, so I'm just gonna start with messing with my white, okay? So I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint on the back of my palette knife, okay? So that's what it looks like sitting straight up. And if you put it on the back, that's kind of what it's gonna look like, all right? On the back. And then I'm just gonna come in and I'm going pad, pad. I'm gonna add that white in my white stripe. And I want the paint to be wet in there, that white paint, because we're gonna intermix a couple colors as we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my paper towel and just wipe that white off on my paper towel. Then I think I'm gonna grab up some blue, but I don't really want this dark blue. I think I'm gonna grab up some tropical blue. We're gonna really go off the rails with this flag. Nobody come at me. This is just art, right? So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that blue on the back of my palette knife again. And I'm gonna come in here on my line between the red and the white and add a little bit of that blue. Now, if you get too much, dry it and come back over with your white. It'll be fine, I promise. So then I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna go into my gold and just get a little bit on the back of my palette knife. And I'm gonna come in and just barely tickle in. Now y'all, I'm just barely touching my canvas. I'm not pressing down and dragging through, okay? I'm barely touching my canvas. And then you end up having a stripe that looks like that. Kind of a mixture of colors like that. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing my white and then we'll come in. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a tiny, the tiniest bit of red. I'm gonna offload a little bit. So just a tinsy wincy bit of red. And uh, I'm gonna hit it like right here. Tinsy, tinsy, right here. And just add a little bit of red in that white stripe. So we're gonna do that to all of our white stripes, all right? So I'm gonna get it wet again with the white, kind of uh, organic application. Don't want it to be perfect. Just get some white on, and then we'll do repeats. Just gonna repeat what we did. That's why I like this little baby palette knife too. It's very controllable. It doesn't get too much of anything. Little baby, little bitty baby, I'm just a baby. So there's our white, so I'm gonna come in with a little bit of that blue. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that blue, pat, 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 on the back of my palette knife, and I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll come in here right under that blue spot and really add that blue in. 
pat, pat, pat. Add a little here. And maybe just a smidge. And I'm barely touching, again, just barely touching my canvas. Not like scraping hard across, just tickling it. So let's go a little gold. I needed a flat palette instead of a plate. So we're gonna take our gold and just add a little bit of gold here and there. That had blue on it still. And add in little tickles of gold here and there. And then we'll do the same thing with red. We're gonna get a little tiny bit of red, pat it off. So you just have a little bit. And we're gonna come in and just add little bits. Now I did a very similar art piece. Well, actually I think I've done it a couple of times on this page. I think the first time I did it was like in 2018, 2019. And we did like a four by 12. So this would look really cool like on a four by 12 as well. So don't feel like you have to have this exact size of canvas. I can't use my words. So I did, it wasn't the, the flag where I was doing a live and ended up like had a monster face, was it, y'all? Those of you who remember that. That was the funniest thing ever. I somehow clicked on one of those filters that change your face. Because I was doing it, I was, and it was for like somebody else's page too. It wasn't even on my own page. So silly. But um, I, I don't remember if it was the flags or not that I was doing that. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my blue. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my palette knife. And I feel like I have too much color in a couple of spots, but that's okay. We're gonna let it go. And then we'll come back and fix it. A little bit of blue. Now we'll go a little bit of gold. Tickle, tickle. Don't go crazy, just a little tickle. Wipe it off, and the tiniest bit of red. We'll do right here. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red, like right here. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Actually, I'm gonna hit it with a dryer real quick so I don't smear it with my hand. Just one quick second. Yeah, Sandy, that was hilarious, wasn't it? I had to uh, go out and back in on my iPad so I could see current comments. But yeah, that was funny because I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing with our red, okay? I'm gonna use my palette knife and I'm gonna start at that top one and I'm gonna just coat that red back to get a nice opaque color. We'll let that run right in to that white flag below. And then we're gonna add a little black and a little gold maybe. All right. I need, uh, I'll do that. Maybe that'll hold it. Oh, there you go. So now I'm gonna grab a little bit of black on the back of my palette knife. And I'm gonna hit, actually, I think I wanna hit like right here on the edge. And we'll pull that down and through. And a little bit of gold, not much, just a smidge here and there. 
And I kind of like that. We may have to make an alteration or two, but I'm just gonna keep going and see how it goes. And we will fix anything that needs a fixin' when we get to the fixin' part. <laughs> okay, so let's get our red on. Mostly we want it to just look blendy. Like you don't know where one starts and the other stops. That's kind of the goal. We'll need some more red. All right. Wipe that off. We'll grab a little bit of black. Same thing. Let's just hit between very lightly. And we'll get a tiny bit and hit right where it touches the blue. A little bit of gold. Y'all, and there is no right or wrong way to do this if you're like doing an abstract. It's really hard personally for me to teach abstract because it's like, I need to get some more red. It's like it just butts until you like it. That's kind of my theory. Butts in, a lot of futs in. All right, I think I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of white. And I'm just gonna hit a little bit of white as well. I don't wanna overdo it, because I know when it dries, I'm gonna come back and add more stuff. So I don't want to get too crazy. Darn it, Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like one every once in a while and then they're gone again. So let me get some more whites. My whites all dried up. So maybe when the replay pops up, it won't be like that, but for now it's Somewhat annoying. Facebook always jacking with you, aren't they? It's always something. You gotta update something and it messes up everything else. So just get a random, I don't know, when I'm coming back with that red, I'm covering I'm not covering the whole stripe again. I'm covering about 70% maybe. So let's get a little bit of black. I'm just gonna hit that edge. A little bit of black. Oh my goodness, I wish y'all could see in the black where it's like a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, all kind of in there, and it's kind of like spread out like a spider web. It looks kind of cool. All right, let's get a little tiny bit of whites. And a little bit of gold. Not too much. And let's do this last one. Then we're gonna dry it and do some final, some final futzing. Get a little bit of black and we'll add a little bit of black there a little bit of whites a little bit of gold oh a little bit of blue obviously let's get a little bit of blue on the other one 
got that blue on the tip of my brush or on my palette knife. All right, so we're gonna let that dry, but while that's dry, I'm gonna flip this around upside down and I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna grab up this blue depression and I am going to just get that on another coat of that on. And then I'll turn it back like this. Look at that. Look at that paper towel. That's a hot mess, isn't it? And let's see. I'm going to come here over. Need some more. And I'm also going to go, watch this, into my stripes with that blue. Let me get a little more. Let me get some more. So let's pull that just over, like break that hard stripe line over. We'll do it down here too. Now I think I'm gonna grab some of that other blue and we're gonna pull some of that in. What do you think about that? Y'all, I've, I've done gone off the rails. I've done gone off the rails. That's okay. Nobody needs to stay on the rails anyway. Off the rails. All right. I'm not hating this, y'all. I'm going to get a little white. And we're going to hit a couple of spots of white. I hope, I can't see your comments, so I hope you aren't going, oh my God, Mountainians. <laughs> I hope it's okay. All right. Love, oh, I just set my finger in. Love this, super cool. But we're gonna futz a little bit with the other. All right, so I'm gonna kind of turn it this way. This is red, so I'm just gonna kind of go back in to that blue with a little bit of red. Just to intermix some of that. We'll bring that over too. And a little bit of red. We're gonna go across just to push some of that back. All right. A little more. Now, let's do whites. So I'm gonna just scoop up whites. And I'm gonna start down here and just come over the top. I need to clean that a little better. Come over the top of some of this with my white blended in to the red, and we're just going to keep futzing until the futzing is done. All right, come up here, we'll do this one. Just patting in to the white or whatever color I'm working with. Mostly it's white right now and just adding more on top. That's what I love about paint. Just let it dry. If you hate it, let it dry, and then you can come back and fix it. Well, let's do one more up here. This is a hot little mess. And I 
don't hate it one bit. It's a little messy. All right, I need to stand up and look at this. Um, let's come this way very lightly. Just tickle, just barely touching, barely touching. Add a little red, barely touching. Voila, not hating this. I want a tiny bit of black back here. I've just got it on the side of my palette knife right now, and I'm gonna kind of come in and in a couple of places, just make a little bit of a black line between my stars and stripes. They're my stars, my stripes. It's kind of like drawing it with the pen, but you're using your palette knife instead. It kind of separates everything. Digging it, digging it. All right, All right, look at that. All right, I'm stopping because it looks crazy and I love it. I wanna see what y'all are saying, hang on. We'll see if y'all think I'm crazy. Let me start over. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Catherine says she's not an abstract artist. You really have to, I don't even believe that, but you really have to be able to just let go. And if it turns into a hot mess, then it's a hot mess. And you just keep going until you love it. So uh, it just takes practice. It's not easy. Um, I'm gonna show you this close up. It's not super easy because I think sometimes as perfectionists, we tend to want everything to be perfect and there's nothing perfect in an abstract piece, okay? So let's, I'm gonna hit this with my dryer for a sec. I'm gonna have a couple more things to do. And there's a lot of paint. <laughs> so we're gonna just real quick, I don't wanna make it crackle or just draw on the top. So we're gonna be a little patient. Hey everybody, I'm gonna close out again. I wonder if I open on my laptop. Are y'all having, anybody on their laptop having a better time of it? Let's see. That's cute. Let's see. Let's get this dry. Still got a couple of big spots that are having a hard time. Yeah, it's so much more fun to just let it go and be a mess if you can do that. But it does take practice. You know, we did a, a project, we did something in our shattered circle called Davide. And my goal was to get people to just put a paint blob, um, a marker, some sort of blob mark with paint, plaster, whatever, every day, and just make it crazy. Crackle would not hurt my feelings either. Um, just make something kind of crazy, but it's super hard for some people to let go. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna let that go. Super hard for people sometimes to be able to just stop and let go of that wanting everything to be perfect. 
right? And there's nothing even remotely perfect about this piece of art, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a white Posca, and I also have a gold marker. It's a deco color marker. And we're gonna use these to jazz it up a little, all right? So I think, let me test it. This, the back of this is my tester. The light is working. So I'm gonna test, I'm gonna write, let's see, I have Home of the Brave, and I'm gonna write right here, very lightly. Home of the Brave. And I wish that was a little bit smaller, but this is um, the only Posca I have. Let's see, that, the top just popped off of that one. That is a chalk marker. That ain't gonna work, that's okay. So let's do, land that a little. I'm gonna try to make it a little smaller. Land that I love. And let's do uh, I'm gonna do I don't want to put my hand in there, but I need it up here. I'm going to do let freedom and feel, don't feel like you have, this has to be perfect. And then I'm down here, I'm going to put ring. Let freedom ring. And we can make just some marks. Let's see. I'm gonna add in just some lines here and there. All right, let's go to gold. Let's go to gold. So, so far, Home with Brave, Land I Love, Let Freedom Ring. I'm gonna take gold. Let's do a little test. Even on the Facebook, I mean, even on the laptop, it's not showing my comments, all right? The gold is good. And let's try a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I want... Chat. Yeah, it's hard for me to paint and do all that. I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm just gonna add some gold lines here and there. Just for that extra sparkle. And I think we're gonna put glass here so I don't think I'm gonna put any gold here. I was thinking about adding stars, but it's really not gonna show. Because we're gonna put glass on top. But now that I've started, right? This old fat marker didn't wanna do them right either. And okay, I'm not counting stars either, so nobody come at me over that. Don't come at me. I'm just making blobs because at this point, the glass is gonna cover this up, it won't matter. But once I started, I was like, well, now you gotta finish. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right. Hmm. All right, so that's kind of where we're at for now. Mm -hmm. And let's 
add, who is annoyed? Anybody as annoyed as I am about this comment thing? It's so crazy. Fast issues, yes. Okay. All right, so at this point, what we're gonna do is I have Pacific Blue Reflective. And what that means, I'll, I'll get this great big piece out so you can kind of see. If you're new, what that means is it's blue on one side and it's mirrored. Let me see if I can make it shine. It's mirrored on the other. So it really shows, really sparkles, okay? We're not gonna use that great old big piece, but we are gonna take some of this blue. I'm gonna pour it in my hands. And we're gonna add it, not that one, right to our flag base or our star base, star area. See how it covered those stars up, but maybe they'll reflect a little bit through. And I want it to be super kind of messy. I don't want it like to have be a perfect little rectangle or square. I'm gonna drag some of that out a little. So it get, goes into my stripes just a smidge. Let's see, turn that there. Okay, and after we resin this, what we may do is add, we'll get a few more little nubs. We may add some seed beads to the red, to the other, to the stripes. May add some. So let's do this. Let's get this done and then we will see what we want. All right, so I'm gonna mix resin. I'm gonna mix an ounce of resin. I've tended to over mix lately, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say one ounce is plenty. So I'm gonna mix a half an ounce of, where is it? A half an ounce of hardener. Really? Half an ounce and a half an ounce of resin. Okay, so now I can see my lines. Had to mark them with a pen because you really can't see that unless you mark it because it's just clear. So don't panic. I do this. I'm a professional. I'm a professional canvas messer upper. So I'm going to grab my gloves and we uh, don't forget if you sprinkle, let your friends know we're here, invite them to watch, invite them to like the page. Come back here, let me know that you invited a friend and your name will go in the drawing for this lovely flag piece. Try, okay, so hang on. I wanna test something. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Don't like it. I was thinking if I should outline my letters, but no. I'm gonna let that dry for a second while I pour my resin, and then I'm gonna go over the top. Y'all my guinea pigs. Oh, half an ounce of Art Resin Hardener. And now we'll do half an ounce of the resin. Whoa, Nellie. And I'm gonna use a palette knife to mix, but before I do, I'm gonna grab my white pen again. What I did with it and fix that back. All right. All right, there we go. So I, I'm gonna assume that, I don't know if I'll even be able to tell when time is up, so I'm gonna see if I can set a timer. I'm looking at the clock because I'm not gonna be able to see when Catherine says it's time. So uh, it is 6.58. I'm gonna just stir because I can't see comments and I'm just gonna chitty chat as I stir and at 7.01 we will begin. So let's see, 
What can we talk about? Oh, I know, let's talk about our art boxes that are getting launched on Monday. I'm gonna tell you this, here's how, here's how it's panning out. There's red on that palette knife. So that's out, I'm gonna change, change her up. Hang on, I'm getting red in my mix. So here's what we're doing. So um, on Monday, we're launching our Get Shattered uh, quarterly subscription box. And um, it is gonna be a quarterly seasonal box and it is $39.95 per quarter. So that's four times a year you will receive in the mail a kit with all your canvas and glass and goodies in it, along with a link to a video workshop and a PDF written out instructional document. You also, so in your kit, you're gonna get your canvas, your tracers, your glass bits, any little elements, gloves, uh, stir stick, the little cup, like what I'm measuring in. The only thing you're not gonna get in that box is paint brushes and paint. Now, let me tell you why. We're never gonna include paint because doing paint for 250, 300 boxes and squirting out a little bit of paint, we don't, we're not that big of a company, okay? We're not that big of a company. So, and most people who paint and are creative have paint, so we're never gonna include paint, all right? So we did not include brushes in this art box because our goal was to keep our box as inexpensive as possible. So when you check out, when you sign up for the quarterly subscription box, you're gonna have the option to purchase a starter pack, okay? The starter pack is $17 and it has a 10 pack of brushes, five palette knives, it has carbon paper and a stylus, it has a graphic illustration marker, it has, I'm missing something, a silicone stir stick and four of the plastic canvas risers to elevate your canvas. All right, now we, we, what we did was in the starter pack, we included things that are reusable for every kit. So you don't need a paintbrush every time you get a kit. So if we, uh, if you get one or you get a packet, then you can reuse those over and over. And that enabled us to keep our kit at a reasonable offering. So that happens on Monday. We are actually launching to our membership earlier because all our members, if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, you always get first dibs on all the things, all the things. There are precious, precious, best friends, and they will always get first dibs first. Catherine said time, and I'm still stirring. Yes, so, uh, but if you get, a, if you comment the word link and get on our wait list, you will get, also get first dibs at these kits. Now we anticipate these kits are gonna go fast because I've had people asking for them for a long time. And we only have a certain number, and when those are gone, they're gone. There won't be more, okay? We have boxed up all we have, and that will be the end of it. And you won't be able to join again for at least six months, probably until the first of the year. So don't miss out. If you want to make sure, or at least somewhat make sure that you get a kit, comment the word link, Follow that link to our wait list. Get on the wait list because you are gonna get early access to purchase this subscription box before the general public, okay? Also, you will um, get a little booby prize, not a booby prize, that was wrong. You will get a little uh, from our wait, if you join from our wait list uh, before we launch to the public, you get a little bonus in your box. So we'd love for you to get on that wait list. That way you don't, you know, it comes Monday or Tuesday and we have five kits left 
and you miss out and you're sad. We don't want anybody to be sad. We want anybody who wants a kit to have one, but we do have a limited supply because we have a limited budget and we have a limited workspace and we, <laughs> and we are limited people. It's just a couple of old ladies up here working. So we'd love for you to uh, get on that wait list so that you can get a kit. I'm gonna just dump. So comment the word link if you're not on the wait list. If you are a member of the Shattered Circle, we are gonna be live Friday inside the Shattered Circle talking about these kits and giving uh, you guys first dibs. So don't worry, you don't even have to get on the wait list. If you're a member, just come join us live in the private group at 4 p.m. Central Time. I'm gonna spread this. I'm gonna use my fingers. This is annoying me. So, we're super excited about this new offering. And this, here's, here's who this helps, really. Somebody who's new, or somebody maybe who doesn't have the ability to go out shopping for all their art supplies every time we have something new come up. Because I know, you know, if you have to have glass and you have to have resin and you have to have seed beads and you have to have a paintbrush or a palette knife, sometimes you end up having to go to several different places to get your hands on all of those products. And, you know, it changes constantly. You never know what we're gonna make. So having these kits available that has everything in it but your paints, and if you get the uh, starter pack, you'll have all the tools you need. So really all you'll have to buy at that point is go and get your paint as we change projects. So we're super, I'm gonna put my little pyramids, cute little pyramids under my art piece. These things are super cool. Never really used them until recently, and I'm kind of digging them, y'all. Kind of digging. It does take a little practice to get them right, but la la. There we go. Is it straight? Okay, so now I can take my finger and hit, get in there, hit the edge a little. So some of that resin is on the edge. Because it just, these dark colors look nicer if it's got a little resin on it. You know, that made me a side canvas resiner. All right, so, yeah. All right, now let's hit this with, we'll take the gloves off. We're gonna hit it with our heat gun to pop any blue blades, any bubbles. Y'all burnt myself so bad with this heat gun yesterday. Now, if you're using a heat gun, this thing is hot, okay? That's where the heat comes out is at the tip, and that thing gets hot, and I was uh, drying something with it, and then I uh, dangled it like a dummy uh, I didn't lay it in my lap, but I was gonna like hold the cord between my legs and let it dangle because I needed, I was just moving something around and I was gonna pick it back up again. And this thing hit my leg and I almost came unhinged. Unhinged, y'all. All right, so let's get the bubbles popped. This is so cute. May the best girl win, or man, if there's man here. All right, so should we, I'm gonna try to refresh again. Should we add red and white seed beads? Yes or no? Yay or nay? I wish I could see your comments. It will burn the fire out of you. Far. So, let me see. Anybody think we should do seed beads? Lord, I wish I could see comments. It's so annoying. Leave as is. No, 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 no. Okay, then we're done. We are done, y'all. It is so cute. Let me 
Lift it up so you can see it a little closer. Check it out, and you can, I don't know if you can tell from there, but you can see those gold stars that I made. You can see those um, underneath that glass, so that's super cool. And let me make sure my things are back where they're supposed to be, and I don't wanna get my hands in resin like I just did. Uh, yeah. No beads. Okay, we're gonna leave it just like it is. I'm gonna turn the camera up so we can chat.